Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm coming to you with a little bit of a follow-up video. So in my last video, I kind of stated that um, I was hopeless in the world of cubing. You'll never see me teaching you how to turn a Rubik's Cube because I suck at it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my turning had gone to crap. It was all over for me. Well, I'm here to tell you that turns out my cube was just dead. That's all it was. My cube, my angstrom, Gan356 ARSM that I love so much, rest in peace. It was dead. It died. It's done. It's gone. I'm having a funeral at Nats. But that's besides the point. We got a mystic GAN 356 Air SM. This cube works wonders. So basically they took this lube, which is from an aloe plant or whatever, I don't understand, you know, uh, ecology and, and biology and botany, I don't understand those things, but, and chemistry. But they took this lube and it makes it just fast. Now what's cool is they took that fast lube and they even put blue GES, Oh my goodness. Which is a rather fast one. I had green on my old one. Um, they put blue GES, which is like the, the, the really loose jiggly one. And I'm a jiggly puff guy. I don't mind it. But at that point, I mean, I bet this cube must have been just, just turning itself. It must have been fast, right? They tightened it. Oh my damn. That's it. That's it. That's how you balance it out. Isn't that genius? I mean, you take a tight tension cube and then put it with the loose GES and fast lube and you've got a cube that works wonders for you. I mean, I am having so much fun with this cube. Um, I haven't cubed in like three days, so excuse my turning right now. Oh, God. But it's already way better than with the other one, actually. So um, I could do a few solves. I have not solved the cube in three days, though. So <laughs> let, me, let me say that. But... Um, as soon as I got this cube, I got used to it in like 30 solves, and I was able to, I mean, that was pretty good right there. Um, I was able to uh, get PBs by like 0.3. My average of 5 went from 6.5 to 6.2. My average of 12 went from 7.1 to 6.8. And honestly, that showed me that um, my limiting factor was my dead cube. It's not to say that I'm like an amazing 3x3 god right now. I'm not at all. But there is hope. Sometimes it, it really is the cube. Uh, I can't say that for everyone, and it doesn't speak for everyone. Um, but don't lose hope. There might be some other thing going on, that, and it might not just be the way you turn the cube. Um, honestly, I'm going to say 99% of the time, your turning's bad because you need to practice turning more. That's it. But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? We're talking about practice, man. We're, talk We're talking about practice. Um, and that's probably part of what I have to do, too. I need to practice more. So um, I got this cube, and it is working wonders for me, and I'm really excited for Nats because now I have a fresh new 3x3. Um, last year at Nats, my cube was four months old. Um, now it's literally, like, a week old. Um, and I was able to get PBs immediately when I started using it, and... I am really, really excited, and I want you all to know that I do not lose hope in cubing. Um, even in 3x3, three three, I still have hope. Um, I'm going to hope to make finals this year. Um, I'll let you know in my US Nats update video, which I'm going to film in like five seconds, but upload later. Um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. Um, I'll see you at Nats. I'm going to have my funeral for my old cube. Um, if anybody's got a casket or whatever, bring it on. Um, anyways, peace out.